In this video, we're going to look at finding a percentage of a quantity for both calculator and non-calculator questions. Let's start with non-calculator. So we'll have now non-calculator. I'm going to take a quantity, and that quantity is going to be £54. I'm going to find a number of different percentages of £54. The first one is going to be 10%. We will look at 11%. We'll go for 9%. I'm going to have 16%. I'm going to have now 22%. I'm going to have 32.5%. And I'm going to have now 90, and we'll go for 96.5%. Okay, I'm going to take my 54 pounds, and that is all of the money that I've got. I've got 100%, and 100% will be equal to 54 pounds. So from here, we're going to go ahead and build up now some values. If I half this, that gives me 50%. So if I'm halving now for 100%, I need half for £54. So that's going to give me £27. At this stage now, I'm going to go ahead and write 10%. If I've got 100%, all I need to do to get 10% is divide the quantity by 10 so I'm going to divide my £54 by 10 and that's going to give me £5.40. At this stage I'm going to write down 5%. 5% is going to be half of 10% or we could say one tenth of 50%. So 5% is half of 10% which is going to give me half of £5.40 which is £2.70. If I think about this now looking ahead at some of these I can find 2.5%. 2.5% is going to be half of that, so we can write 2.5% is going to be equal to £1.35. 1 1%, 1% now is going to be one tenth of 10%, and we can write this now as 0 0.54, or we can write it as 54p. So 0 0.54 pounds or 54p. So if we just look at this pattern, 54, £5.40, 54p. So with this one, £27, £2.70, and if I wanted, I could go down to 27p. So we've already got 10%, we can see 10% is here. If I think about 11%, if I want to find 11%, well that's going to be 10%, and then all I'm going to do is add 1%. That's going to give me the 11%, so I'm going to have now the £5.40, and which is the 10%, plus the 0 0.54, so the 54p. So that's going to give me now a total, adding these together, of £5.94. So we can say now that 11% of £54 is £5.94. If I wanted now 9%, well that would be 10% minus 1%. So this time all I do is subtract it away, so £5.40 minus the 54p, or 0 0.54 pounds. So that's going to give us now a total of four pounds and 86 pence. So that's now subtracting it. There are of course lots of different approaches. Some people like to do 5% and add four lots of 1%. I think it's easier to take 10% and take one away. 16%, so how could we build up 16%? Well, we could say that's gonna be 10% plus 5%, plus one percent. Alternatively, you could do 20 percent and subtract away four lots of one percent. So I know now that the 10 percent is going to give me five pounds 40. The five percent is going to give me two pounds 70. The one percent that we found was going to be 54p. All I need to do is use column addition. That's going to give me four We've got 11 and 5, which is 16. We carry the 1, and that's going to give me, in total now, 8. So we can say now that 16% of £54 is £8.64. If we wanted 22%, I could go ahead and do 20 and 2 lots of 2, or I could find now half of 50%, which is 25%, and take away 3 lots of 1%. Okay, let's look at this one right here. We want 32.5%. I'm going to do three lots of 10%, which is going to give me 30%. And 
and then I'm going to do one lots now of 2.5%. So if I look at that, that's going to give me 3 times by the £5.40, and then we're going to have 1 multiplied by the £1.35. So what does this give me? That gives me £16.20. Then I'm going to add to it for 135, and we can see that gives me 5. That's going to give me 5. We've got 7, and then we've got 1. So we can say it's £17.55. If we look at 96.5%, we've got a lot of choices. I could do 100% minus 2.5% minus 1%. So that's going to be equal now to 96.5%. So this would be the 54, 0, 0, minus now our 1.35, minus now our 0 0.54. So entirely up to you on how you want to deal with that, but we can see that we can build these up for non-calculator questions. Let's now go on to some calculator questions. Let's look at some calculator ones. So now taking calculator questions, and I'm going to find now, and I'm going to have a horrible number, I'm going to have 38.27. I'm going to give all of my answers to one decimal place. So all of my answers are going to be to one decimal place. You will be given a level of accuracy. Let's say now I wanted 32%. We're going to go on the next one at 67.3%. Let's say on the next one we wanted 109%. We will do 1.67%. When we're talking about of in maths, we're talking about multiplication. So if I wanted 32% of, I'm just writing this in, 32% of £38.27, I would look now for a multiply. If we think about now what percentage means, percentage means out of 100. So 32 out of 100 multiplied now by 38.27. So this could be my multiplier. Alternatively, if I wanted to write it as a decimal, 0 0.32. So this is 32 one hundredths. So all we would do is simply now put this into a calculator. I like my table of multipliers, and in other videos we will look more extensively at those. So let's go ahead and do that in the calculator. So 0 0.32, 0 0.32, we're going to multiply this by 38.27, and that's going to give us now 12.2464, so let's write this in, 12.2464, so to one decimal place, it's going to be equal to 12.2. So that's 1 dp. Okay, let's look at this one. What I've got now is 67.3%. You could write this as a fraction, or we could just look at the multiply. This is going to be 0 0.673. That is my multiply. If you want to write that as 673 over 1,000, you can do. This is both a multiplier and then I would say of 38.27. So straight for a calculator with that and we can write this now as follows. We can write 0 0.6, so this is 673, and we're going to multiply this by 38.27. And that is going to give me 25.75 and so on and so forth. So 25.8 and that is going to be to 1 dp. So that's one decimal place. So as stated, you could have written that now as a fraction. It's entirely up to you. Okay, let's look at this one, 109%. So we could write this as 109 of 100, multiplied by our 38.27, or we could write this as 1.09. 1.09 multiplied by the 38.27 will give us that answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got 1.09 and we're going to multiply that by 38.27. And that's going to give me now 41.7143. So that's going to be 41.7 and that is to 1 dp. 
Okay, let's look now at the next one. This time we've got 1.67. I'd like to write this as a multiplier and we're going to have now zero and then we're going to have now point. So it'll be 0 0.0167. That is the multiplier I'm going to use and we'll multiply that now by 38.27. If we just think about this now, let's just build up a couple of multipliers. If I multiply it now uh, by 0 0.01, this is going to be 1%. If I multiply it by 0 0.02, this is going to be 2%. If you want to look at this now, that this decimal is equivalent to saying 1 one hundredth, so 1%. This is 2 one hundredths, or 2%. So if I've got now 0 0.0167, that's going to be 1.67%. So all I do is go ahead and multiply you can write this as a fraction. Again, it can look quite messy. So in the calculator, let's go ahead and do that. So we've got 0 0.0167. So if I left it there, that would be 1%. That's now 1.6%. That is 1.67%. And we just multiply this by 38.27. So let's go ahead and do that. And that gives us 0 0.639. So to one decimal place, 0 0.6. So let's do a couple more before we go. Let's find 37% uh, um, of, let's go for 63.941. Uh, so in the calculator, you can either write 37 over 100 multiplied by the 63.941, uh, or you can write this as 0 0.37 entirely up to you. Remember, of in maths means multiply. So, straightforward calculation. Let's go ahead and find 15.2% of, let's say, we had 112.4. This now would be 0 0.152 multiplied by the 112.4. Again, if you wanted to write it as a fraction, you're more than welcome to do so. I prefer to write it as a decimal. I don't want to write 152 over 1,000. It's just a lot easier for me to write it like so. So that is finding now a percentage of a quantity for both non-calculator and calculator.